infant carrier. Be of you. Car seats are not sleeping devices. They might sleep in the car, but remember our car seat is in the right recline angle in the, in the car. We can't breathe. So car seats are not cribs. Okay, they're not intended for your kid to sleep in. All right, we see, we see injury and death to children from sleeping in. No. No. Okay, so kids go in the back seat. Children should be buckled up correctly every oh. single time. I know you have Mr. Independent and Miss Independent for your child and they want to do it themselves. <laughs> I know, but guess what? We, we're, it's our job as adults to go back and check it, okay? So Mr. Independent, he wants to boot. But there aren't airbags in the back seat where we put our kids for a reason. They're not intended to have that airbag hit them like that. Or especially when they're rear facing. So don't ever put that kid behind a car, an airbag. They are leaning against or resting against an airbag, like in the front seat, okay? Remove any projectile objects. Ladies, if I threw that bag at you at 35 miles an hour, is that going to hurt? Yeah. Is that going to hurt? Yes. Of course. Yes. So make sure you know where your projectiles are. If you have a trunk, put stuff in the trunk. Even this, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit because it's, it's difficult, right? Is this going to hurt at 35 yes. miles an hour? Yeah. It's going to put a big dent in my noggin. What do you think it's going to do to hurt? So be aware of your projectiles, strollers and trunks. Put all those things away in the trunk. Okay, or on your seat so you can see your sweet, sweet face. What are you not doing? die or we can't walk we may not be able to use our hands or our legs anymore okay you know what else is cool about a booster seat what's your name right because you're sitting up higher you get to see better and then you don't have to see this you can actually see more of the car yeah. see you wear high hats too <laughs> well, we'll see why do see? you do that sometimes we need to be taller there's no shame in that it's okay all right, and it's not going to be like this one. It's just the little bottom part just to lift you up because we want this to hit you on your collarbone so you're safe, okay? You look skinny and you got your back blue shirt on. How much blue skin? Whatever. Scott? I'm not installing it on the side. Sit down. I do not like you at all. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm Deputy Steve Squire, S-T-E-V-E-S-Q-U-I-E-R. I'm with Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. Tell me what you got going today. Okay, today we have a car seat program where we're handing out free car seats after parents have education about the car seats. And so we expect to have about 100 families in need come in, get educated on how car seats function, the proper way to put the children in the seat, and the proper way to put the seat in the car. And then we have technicians available out here from various programs, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Montgomery County Hospital District, um, a lot of civilian staff that also help as well as the Montgomery County Citizen Academy, Sheriff's Office uh, Citizen Academy alumni members are here to help out, making sure that the children stay within the parking lot, within where their parents are. Tell me, tell me a little about the car seat program. Okay, so the car seat program here in Montgomery County works with Texas Children's Hospital. They help us by donating seats so that we can make events like this happen, where we're going to give away over 100 car seats. It's a coalition of people involving Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, the Hospital District, Conroe PD, Precinct 4 Constable, and a multitude of others. And it's hugely important because 73 to 90 percent of all car seats nationwide are installed incorrectly. And so that means almost seven to nine kids out of every ten are in danger inside the car. It's not just the car seat. I mean, she's mentioning there are objects floating around inside the car. Absolutely. As part of the program, uh, we educate the parents not only on the proper installation of the car seat, but also other dangers such as distractions to the parents with the mirrors in the cars to try to watch their babies, as well as objects that aren't properly stowed in the car so that in the event of a crash, those objects can become missiles and harm the whole family. What about, you've got quite a few people out here today. What the, what was the, I mean, you had one group came in, uh, hit quite a few seats that weren't really properly adjusted. Absolutely. We even reached out to homeless shelters, and so we had two vans from the homeless shelter come in with over 13 children and their moms, and we were able to provide some education because every one of the car seats in that car seat needed some attention. Again, seven to nine out of every ten car seats are installed incorrectly, and so it's great that they were able to bring their families in and help us help them. Where does someone get the proper instructions on putting these car seats in? So this coalition, we do this car seat check, not quite to the scale of what we're doing today, but we do a car seat check every month, on the first Thursday of every month, throughout the Montgomery County area. We typically have a check on 
the first Thursday of the month here in the Conroe area, oftentimes we'll have a secondary check throughout the county to help out. And they can find that information on the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office website. Okay. But, uh, what about the seats now? I mean, you've got different sized seats. I mean, we're seeing a little girl here who didn't even think that she needed a seat. And she's, well, hey, we, you know, we need to get a booster under her. Oh, absolutely. So we have seats all the way from the infant carriers up to the booster seats. And then we have some children who are older than the state age, but smaller than what they should be to be in a seat, such as the case you're talking about. That young lady was 10 years old. The state law says they have to be eight years old or four foot nine to still be in a car seat or must be in a car seat at that size and age. And so this 10 year old by law didn't need to be. However, she was such a tiny 10 year old that it was really in her best interest to be in a car seat. So we talked into talked her into the safety factors and, and why she really needed to be in the car seat and convinced her it was a good idea. Mom. Mom.